Hi, I'm Kelly. Today I want to take a minute and tell you about how I've chosen the luggage I'm going to bring with me on my six-week trip to Costa Rica. I know that when I arrive in San Jose, I'm going to have a four-hour bus ride to my final destination. There's also going to be about three kilometers of walking in there, and so I want to make sure that I have everything in a pack that's not going to be cumbersome. I've chosen to bring my backpack this is a 47 liter uh, backpack. I like this one because when everything is strapped up, it folds up pretty small, and I've never had a problem getting this in the overhead bin. Um, that said, I believe it's probably three or four inches longer than those size-wise containers where they want you to slide your luggage in at the airport. So um, I always make sure that anything I put in here is something that would be okay to check but I've never had it denied, and I've always been able to slide it sort of skinny, long ways into the um, overhead container. It's actually quite narrow. I like to bring a backpack for several reasons. Bringing a uh, rollerboard case is difficult because um, you can't control it as easily. It, you have to worry about going upstairs, you have to worry about curbs, you have to worry um, as it's rolling behind you that it might catch on something. It's also very noisy, and I've been in situations where I've arrived at a destination late at night, and when you're rolling one of those things across concrete down a sidewalk, you are very conspicuous. And I always try to be as inconspicuous as possible when I travel. Obviously, I have a big backpack, so I am a traveler, um, but I try not to draw attention to myself by being really noisy or really obvious whenever possible. That's just for safety reasons. So I'm going to pack um, the vast majority of my stuff in this bag, which I will then wear. If you're new to backpacks, um, I know it took me a while to make this transition, but they're, I think they're the best option. This strap that goes around your waist distributes the weight onto your hips. And like me, um, I have pretty strong hips. This uh, allows me to not strain my back or my shoulders or my arms by pulling or carrying something. This strap along the top helps with balance, keeps everything um, uh, from sliding around. And then my most valuable things are gonna go in this small pack. This is the day pack I'm gonna use when I'm hiking in Costa Rica. Um, and so I wanna make sure I bring it with me. I could squeeze it into this bag, but again, I wanna make sure that all of my valuables are in a separate container just in case. So this pack I'll, put, I'll use for my uh, my tablet, my camera, uh, my passport, uh, wallet, anything else like that, and my medications and contact lenses, glasses, those sorts of things. When I arrive in Costa Rica, uh, and I'm going to be taking the bus, I will put this backpack on like this. I'll probably lengthen the strap so it's a little lower, and then I will take this and wrap it around my waist in the back to make sure that it's secure. It's really nice when you have all of your valuable things right in front of you like this. You know that they're secure, um, as opposed to sticking them in a backpack that's on your back that somebody could potentially unzip if you're in a busy bus station or something like that. Um, so this is how I've decided I'm gonna travel with my things to Costa Rica. Um, I hope this is valuable information for you and thank you for watching. If you have a question about this video, or a travel question you'd like me to feature on my blog, please email me at kellywanderstheworld at gmail.com. You can take a look at my blog for more travel tips, photos, and videos at kellywanders.wordpress.com.